These are the five components you require for installing tiles on the aluminium framing system. The second component we're going to talk about is the tile cross spaces. So these components are what we call the spaces for the tile system. So first you'll need your joist, you'll have your rubber bead which, go down, which goes down in place so your tiles can sit on that. So how these spaces work is that they're very much like a traditional tile spacer but with more innovation. So you have 25 of them in a box, you get one out there, you get one out here. So we have a cross spacer and a straight spacer. So you're going to have uh, your tile like this. Now, the straight spacer is used for if you want a gap. And these are very small tiles, by the way. I'm just showing you this um, to show the application. Is where you want to have another tile there butted up hard against each other, and it gives you a perfect five mil gap. Now, the reason why they have the circular section on them is so that that locks the spacer underneath the tile so if you're going to pressure wash the area at all these spacers aren't going to pop out. Now the cross spacer is that you would just simply sit, slip this one in underneath one of the corners of the tiles and that cross spacer will now allow you to space your tiles out perfectly at a cross join. Now typically the straight spacer gets used at the, you know, if this is an edge of a tile line here, you would start your spaces in this orientation because obviously you can't use a cross because there might be a wall there or what have you. So you'll use these straight spaces in that orientation and then you'll use your cross spaces <coughs> where your tiles meet. So you might have another tile here and another tile here. So you typically need more of the cross spaces than you do of um, the straight spaces. But you will need the straight spaces around the perimeter edge of your deck. So the way to calculate it is to basically um, work out the perimeter uh, lineal meters or lineal feet of your deck and then divide that by the, the size of your tile and that will tell you how many you need of those or what joy centers you have to support your tile.